Football season starts tonight. Levi James has a report. Good morning, I'm Marcus Perzel, and you're watching the JHS Report. The football season opens tonight with a home game at 8 p.m. JHS reporter Levi James has more. Ball is just around the corner, and that means the football season is underway. Let's see what Coach Cooley and some of the players have to say about the upcoming season. So, Coach, what are your expectations for this season? Well, you know, we're, uh, we're awful young in some areas, and we're veteran in other areas. You know, we expect to improve and play hard and get better every week. You know, we had a great summer. Georgetown camp was great for us, and, uh, you know, we had a great showing Friday night against New Albany. But, uh, you know, we have unfinished business. We're going to, you know, just keep improving day in and day out and keep working hard. Has there been any surprises for you this season so far? Well, you know, our defense, we knew it would be pretty good. We just didn't know how good it was going to be. But, you know, we're, we're surprised as far as, uh, you know, we're going to be really, really good on defense this year, we think. And then offensively, our young offensive line and inexperienced line has improved tremendously. So, uh, you know, we're pleasantly surprised. We're not satisfied, but yet um, good things lie ahead. How do you feel the New Albany scrimmage went Friday night? Well, you know, we wanted to evaluate a lot of players. I mean, we didn't really game plan them or scheme them. Scheme them. We were very vanilla on what we did, but, uh, you know, our defense held them out and did a great job. And uh, offensively, you know, we took shots down the field, scored quite a bit. So, uh, you know, I was pleased with our execution on offense and, and our tackling on defense. What are your all's expectations for the season this year? Uh, at least, uh, I want us to at least get past sectionals and go on to regionals. Well, number one, we got to do a big this season and uh, definitely, you know, smash New Albany and smash Rice. And has there been any surprises for you this season? Yeah. My first surprise, well, is me playing running back. That's a surprise for me. I never thought I'd play running back. And then uh, probably how good the defense is because I didn't expect them to be as good as they are. How do you feel the uh, New Albany scrimmage went this Friday? It went pretty good. Uh, defense was killing them. They barely got any yards at all. Uh, offense did good. We killed them too. Every receiver scored. Uh, you was trucking them. We did our thing. I think we went well. Brandon McGee, what are your thoughts on our opponents this upcoming season? Uh, we got some tough opponents. Uh, Rice is number four in the state. And, uh, we play some top recruits like Clemens East with a D1 quarterback and uh, Bedford North Lawrence. That you know, it's been a tough schedule this year. What are your expectations for this upcoming season? Uh, hopefully we will uh, win the Hoosier Hills Conference. I feel like we got a good chance to do that and hopefully win sectionals and go on to regionals. There's a lot of hype around you this season. How do you plan on dealing with it? You see, hype is something that's not for real. And I'm all real. What kind of grades do you make, Chris? I make all A's. In what subject? There's only one subject, and it's football. Well, there you have it. Looking forward to a good season this year. Come out and support the football team. For WJHS Reporting, I'm Levi James. Students may pick up an application for student parking in room 210 after school. Once the application is completed, return it to room 210 with $2 and you will be issued a hang tough. All information must be filled out and completed on the application. Deadline to get a parking pass this year is August 31st. The JHS sports teams are in need of student athletic trainers. If you are interested in pursuing a degree in any medical profession or in sports, you can gain valuable experience as a student athletic trainer. Stop by the athletic office or call extension 262 for more information. Charlestown High School will be starting the first session of driver's education on September 5th. Classes will be held from 7 to 9 p.m. on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings. Driving will be right after school with your assigned driving teacher. The cost is $300. If you are interested in taking this class, please go to the bookstore and pay your fee. Remember, you will be taking the class at Charlestown High School. The River City Chronicles will be presented free this Saturday, August 19th at 7.30 p.m. in the Jeff I Auditorium. This is part of a one of a project pr produced by the Jeff History Project. The first art club meeting will be Monday, August 28th in room 704 from 2.30 to 3.15. See Mrs. Strzok in room 704 for more information. And now, here's today's Did You Know question. When did the first children's show on Saturday morning start? We will have the answer for you after this break. <laughs> Express yourself. 
express yourself You don't never need help From nobody else All you got to do now Express yourself Whatever you do uh, Do it good uh, Whatever you do Do, do, Lord, Lord If you want to do something special for your friend on their birthday, buy them a video birthday card. You can buy 20 seconds of video with a picture and or a message for $5. Just come down to the WJHS studio in room 713, but please give us three days in advance and it will air on their birthday. Good morning, I'm Richard Keel with a look at today's JHS weather forecast. Today a mix of clouds and sun with a slight chance of thunderstorms. This afternoon a few storms may be severe, a high around 90. Tonight a variable of clouds, scattered thunderstorms, humid, a low of 76. Tomorrow scattered showers and thunderstorms. A few storms may be severe, a high around 85. And that's a look at your JHS weather forecast. And now here's a look at JHS Sports. Good morning, I'm Nick Jacobs with today's JHS Sports. The girls' uh, Jeff Volleyball team opened their season with a win over Charlestown last night. Sabrina Johnson had 14 kills. Lindsay Monahan had 8 kills. Lindsay Cooper paced the Lady Dev Red Devils with 15 digs, 21 serves, and 4 aces. Uh, Alex Samuel had 24 assists and 19 serve points. The JHS girls golf team defeated Madison last night with a total of 253. With Ella Woldridge had 59, Amber Pangburn 64, Andrea Newcomb 65, Erica Hampton 65, Lindsay Gavin 70. Any girl interested in playing softball this year should attend a short meeting on August 21st after school in the trophy room. Please see Coach, uh, Coach Schaefer if you are interested. Reminder to all girls basketball players, you are expected to attend Saturdays 3-on-3 three three in the Jeff High parking lot. You should bring soft drinks and hot dogs to the gym at 6 o'clock. If you cannot make it on the 3-on-3, on the three three, you are responsible to see Mr. Gilbert also turn in your practice jersey and clean out your locker so as soon as possible so the volleyball players can use it in the fall. Any questions, see Coach Gilbert. The, the Jeff football team hosts number three ranked Evansville Wrights tonight at 8 p.m. at Blair Field. The boy tennis team and Jeff Invitational tonight and tomorrow the eight team Invitational held at Jeffsville High School Tennis Center will be start, start at 6.30 on Friday and 9.30 on Saturday morning. Delta, Evansville Memorial, Zionsville, Peru, Centerville, Bloomington South, and Columbus North will be the seven teams that will compete, be competing. For the WJHS Report, I'm Nick Jacobs. Now, here's the answer to today's Did You Know question. When did the first children's show on Saturday morning start? The answer is, on this day in 1950, ABC began the tradition of sh showing Saturday morning kids shows. The first ones were Animal Clinic and Acrobat Ranch. That's the news. I'm Marcus Persil. Thanks for watching the JHS Report. When I'm down to see my cousin Pays guitar sound like a chainsaw bug In the